Today on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the brand new pedal from Dead Air, Wound. <laughs> Big thanks to Will from Dead Air for sending me the wound. The wound is a green Russian Big Muff inspired fuzz with a very, very powerful EQ and filtering section. If you're like me, one of the issues you have with Big Muffs in general is just their kind of lack of tweakability. Like it does that one sound and you're, you're kind of locked into that. This 100% solves all those issues. In general, I feel the Big Muff is like the fuzziest sounding type of fuzz there is. It's, uh, you know, if, if by fuzz you're referring to like this, you know, exploding distortion sound, the, you know, all fuzzes are going to kind of get close to that area. But I think a Big Muff in general has a very fuzzy sound. There's like a, 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 a white noise static to the tone itself. And that's great. But with that, you kind of lose definition and a bit of clarity, which is, if that's what you're going for, awesome. But if you want some other options, you're not really going to get it from a traditional Big Muff. But unsurprisingly, Will has kind of blown the roof off of a traditional green Russian Big Muff and allowed you to do things that you really couldn't do before with it. So for controls, we have sustain, and that'll act as your gain control, just like normal. Uh, your tone will be your tone control, you know, clockwise for more high end, counterclockwise for less. And then you have level, which is the overall output of the pedal while it's on. The bottom row of controls is really where the wound explodes into really awesome territory. So we have mid contour and high contour, and these will literally allow you to shape the EQ of the wound. So if you want more mids, you can roll it back and really boost that. If you want to exaggerate the kind of scooped, you know, Russian muff setting, you can turn it the opposite way and really dip in hard. And then same thing with the high contour. Sometimes you, you might feel that your fuzz is too fizzy, so you can roll this back, or you might need some more of that high end or clarity or, or want that fizz, and you can introduce it. And then in the bottom middle control, we have headroom. And this is a very cool control. So all the way counterclockwise is like your standard muff setting. So it'll be much more squashed, much fizzier, way more distorted and saturated. The more clockwise you turn it, the less compressed, the more open, you know, a greater volume, a little less distortion, but really kind of allows your signal to, you know, breathe. The way these three EQ controls work is really, really cool, highly interactive. So you can roll up, you know, the high contour and then roll back the tone and have a different type of high end. You could boost the tone and roll back the high contour and have a different type of high end. And then all the same things happening with the mid contour, really a big, broad and useful sweep to dial in, you know, exactly what you want. For today's demo, I'm using my 2021 Dunnable Yeti Custom, and this has Dunnable Grizzly pickups. These are custom wound to be low output and unpotted. And from there, we'll be going into my UAD Apollo X6 and using the SoftTube JMP2203 amp plugin. <laughs> All right, for this first setting, we're gonna run it as a pretty classic Big Muff sound. So we're gonna max out the sustain, max the tone, max the level, and then we're gonna have both of the contours at noon, and we're gonna roll the headroom all the way off. This gives you that sound, that huge, really aggressive, you know, a little bit of like tearing into the notes each time, really kind of crumbly, but still, you know, very fuzzy uh, sound that you know. I do feel that the fidelity with the wound is, for me, better than what I've played with like older Big Muffs. So while you're still getting this very much iconic sound, it does feel a little more present and forward than I've when I've played Big Muffs in the past. One of the things I really do enjoy about this classic sound is if you roll the volume back on your guitar, it gets very kind of dead and flubby. I don't mean those, I know those are traditionally used in like a, a bad way, but I actually really like that sound. With a low tune guitar, you roll the 
toned back with a maxed out muff fuzz in this case. And it sounds very kind of punchy, but muffled or baffled or something. I can't, it's hard to explain, but I love that sound. It's, you know, what you traditionally hear in, you know, a lot of like uh, doom and sludge stuff. It's great. So I'll start there and then I'll roll up the volume and it really, really gets really gnarly. I love it. Enjoy. <laughs> Next clip, we're going to go for a bit less aggressive sound. So the sustain is going to be almost all the way off. We're going to have the tone at one, the level at one. We're going to roll the mid contour almost all the way off as well. Headroom at noon, and we're going to max out the high contour. In the beginning, I'm going to roll down the volume, play lightly, and then I'm going to roll it up, and you'll hear this very big, definitely distorted, definitely fuzzy, but still very clear sound. Because of how awesome the EQ is, you get the sense and the kind of clarity and calmness of a more or less clean signal with the fuzz underneath, but it doesn't feel separated. It still feels glued together. The last half of the clip, we're gonna engage the fuck overdrive from small sound, big sound. And this will be the wound first into the fuck overdrive. And what we get here, it still maintains its bigness, but it totally changes the EQ, but it still plays very well together. You might feel that like it's jarring because they will sound very different, like the first half of the clip and the second half of the clip, but both tones are, to me, outstanding, like really, really cool. When I engage the overdrive, it just adds this huge round mid hump that uh, I really, really love, but it, it maintains the, the kind of the DNA of the wound.
And in our last clip, I think this might be my favorite setting on the wound. We're gonna have sustain just past noon. We're gonna max the tone, max the level. The mid contour will be just before three o'clock. We're gonna max the headroom. And then we're going to uh, have the high contour at like 10. We will be pairing that with the Death by Audio rooms for a very large, uh, huge, you know, kind of ethereal room sound. This is often a, a, a sound that I'm after. Like I, I want all of those qualities. I want a little bit of, you know, slight gating at the beginning of the note. And then I want clarity and bloom as it opens up. And, you know, the wound. Okay. If you've checked out the other dead air pedals I've done, the um, hook echo and the sawzall, you'll hear me echo similar sentiments about the EQ. I don't know. I, I think for my money, I think what Will is doing at dead air with the EQ and filtering sections of his pedals is, you know, top, top, top level. So anyway, big, awesome sound. Enjoy. <laughs> And that is a wrap on the wound from Dead Air. The wound comes out today, links in the description below. I highly recommend this pedal. I think it's fantastic. All of the Dead Air stuff is really, really good. Beautifully made, great artwork, incredible EQ section, extremely well-priced. In a world where that is getting harder and harder to say, Dead Air remains a company that like is making good stuff at very, very reasonable prices. Top jacks, top DC, very pedal board friendly, looks cool, sounds cool. It's got everything you want. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed and you dig the content, please consider hitting that subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. I appreciate it. And if you are subscribed, thank you very much. 
Links for everything I'm using in the description below, and I'll see you next video. Peace.